preliminary reports pretty significant this morning. Indeed, we had a number of injuries and fatalities, so now we want to go live, a matter of fact, to Kirksville, Missouri. That's where NBC's Alex Fee is. And Alex, is there any estimate on how many homes were damaged in that city? Well, there is an estimate, but that estimate is quite a few hours old by now. We were told last night it is uh, up to up to 40 homes last night that were damaged here in Kirksville. Now, Kirksville is a college town, home of Truman State University. About 20,000 people live here. We are live this morning in a car dealership north of Kirksville along uh, Highway 63. Let me show you here. You see some peripheral damage around me. Also, see that red car? way back there turned completely upside down. There's another one of those just over to my right here. I want to show you it's much closer. It's a silver car of some sorts here. Uh, looks like an Avalon completely upside down. The building behind me sustained major damage, not a window unbroken in that building. Now I understand we have some Google Earth images showing you sort of a before and after picture here of what this vicinity looked like. We'll show you what this looked like beforehand. Again, this is just north of Kirksville, Missouri in Adair County, Missouri. That's in Northeast Missouri along Highway 63 here. Certainly a very nice community. Again, 20,000 people live here. Again, now we come back out live and show you what some of the damage looks like here. Now some of the, this is very typical of what you see here in this car dealership. There are probably, I would guess, at least four dozen cars in this, uh, inventory in this parking lot, if you will. I can, can't can count on one hand how many windows are unbroken. Okay, we have another Google Earth image now to show you of some houses across the street. I understand this is, it's a very nice subdivision. It looks like it's called Lakeside Estates. We have Google Earth image to show you what this looked like beforehand. Beautiful homes, looks like some very expensive homes here in Adair County. And now we can show you a live look and what the damage looks like here in Northeast Missouri. Significant damage. Uh, these are homes again on the east side of Highway 63, north of Kirksville, Missouri. Now again, there were fatalities here last night as a result of this weather system. At least three people died. One of those was an 83-year-old woman who uh, died due west of here in Sullivan County, Missouri. She died inside of a, a mobile home near the town of Milan. Also, we understand there are two people who died here in Kirksville, but uh, we do not have any more details about what happened to those people pending notification of next to kin. Also, I'm quite certain that the Kirksville Police Department and the Adair County Sheriff's Department are busy this morning, probably also making checks on the well-being to make sure everybody's accounted for. Live in Northeast Missouri, I'm Alex Fees reporting. Back to you. Okay, thanks a lot, Alex.